Government leaders in Canfield this evening laid out their reasons why a police levy should be passed in November. A large crowd showed up to listen, and while some supported the levy, others were not as positive. The 200 people who filled the large meeting room at the Mahoning County Career and Technical Center learned there will be a vote in November to increase taxes in the city of Canfield for the next five years. We are going to propose a 3.9 mil police levy. The announcement by Mayor Bernie Kozar Sr. was preceded by a presentation of two Canfield High School students whose online survey showed that people think of Canfield as a safe, friendly, comfortable community with some issues. And this came up quite a few times about how people felt there's a lack of business that seriously needed to change for the future of Canfield. Police Chief Chuck Colucci also spoke, saying his department is short three officers, one full-time and two part-time. And Chief Colucci also laid out in detail the positives of his department. You see us on your side streets, patrolling your neighborhoods, making you feel safe. When it came time for public comment, Steve Planey was among the first to speak. Planey commended the Canfield police for doing an outstanding job, but then had some choice words for those who want to increase taxes. Myself and some of the folks I know, we resent this fear-mongering, the threatening of the removal of that outstanding service if we don't allow you to reach into our pockets again. We didn't threaten anybody. We didn't try to coerce anybody. So where this information came from, I don't know. But there were also people who supported the levy. That this is a necessary thing, and it will benefit everyone that lives here. If we want to maintain what we have had, we are going to have to step up and pay this money. Now on a lighter note, at the start of this evening's town hall meeting in Canfield, 12-year-old Scotty Crawford became the youngest person ever to get the key to the city. Mayor Bernie Kozar presented it to him for the money that he raised to renovate the Canfield War Veterans Museum.